across the globe you are most welcome in the name of jesus wherever you are this is school of the holy spirit brought to you by world outreach savior international bible ministry worldwide wherever you are you are most welcome we have another interesting moment before the lord wherever you are you are most welcome in the name of jesus Let's pray, beloved. Eternal Rock of Ages, we give you glory, we give you honor. Father, we want to thank you for your excess kindness, for making us to see 1st of March, year 2021. Be that glorified in the name of Jesus. Daddy, cleanse us from every dent of sin in the name of Jesus. In today's teaching, let your name alone be glorified. Feel us afresh. Help us to know you more. Be that glorified. Every power that wants to distract us, we silence them by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Be that glorified. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Beloved, wherever you are, you are most welcome in the name of Jesus. We have another moment before, before the Lord, and I strongly believe that God is going to visit you today in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to invite your friends, invite your loved ones, as we eat from the hallowed bread of the Holy Spirit, and I strongly believe that God is going to refresh us tonight in the name of Jesus. You are most welcome once again in the name of Jesus. Beloved, a new month, a new revelation, a new month, a new word of God that will give you a trigger, a trigger that will shift your destiny to the next level of greatness. And this evening, beloved, we have another revelatory session that is going to change our orientation, that is going to quicken our bodies and our spirits. Why? Because we are here on this planet to fulfill God's mandates. We are here on this planet to fulfill God's purpose and plan. We are here on this planet to fulfill the projects and the assignment of God. Wherever you are, you are most welcome. This is School of the Holy Spirit brought to you by World Outreach Savior International Bible Ministries Worldwide. This is UK Center. You are most welcome in the name of Jesus. And I strongly believe that God in His infinite mercy is going to refresh us today, tonight, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, beloved, before we go into tonight, or uh, what we have for us tonight, beloved, go with me to the book of book of First Corinthians, chapter chapter eight. Okay, First Corinthians chapter nine, please. First Corinthians. Chapter 
9 verse 16 1 Corinthians chapter 9 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 16 and 27 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 16 and 27 wherever you are you are most welcome in the name of Jesus this is school of the Holy Spirit wherever you are you are most welcome in the name of Jesus 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 16 I read for though I preach the gospel I have nothing to glory of for necessity is laid upon me ye what is unto me if I preach not the gospel? This is First Corinthians chapter nine, verse sixteen. This this was the account of Apostle Paul the Great. Let me tell that again, beloved. First Corinthians chapter nine, bar verse sixteen. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Beloved, this will be our central focus this evening and throughout this month. This is where we're going to draw out most of the revelation we are going to cough out in this platform for the benefits of all the viewers across the globe. Beloved, the subject that God has for us today and this month, what God has for us based on His, based on His direction, um, based on his mandate, what he has for us this month is time to the race you are born to run. I want you to echo it and write it down wherever you are. The race you are born to run. Beloved, we need to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit at this particular hour. We are here on this planet to fulfill the project of God. We are here on this planet to fulfill God's ordination upon our lives and destiny. We are here on this planet and to fulfill God's written documents concerning our lives we are here to fulfill the mind of God not our own ambition today's teaching is going to cause divine eruption in our foundation today's teaching is going to steer all the lying down Giants, gift, the treasure of God, the investment of God in our lives. Today's teaching is going to give us speedy and total turnaround concerning the assignment of God that is lying dormant in our lives. And I strongly believe that God is going to visit us tonight in the name of Jesus. Apostle Paul said, Necessity is laid upon him. He said, War is him. War is unto everyone, every believer who failed to propagate gospel. That is First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16. Please go with me again to verse 27. The same, the same chapter, beloved. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, wherever you are across the globe, this is school of the Holy Spirit brought to you by World Outreach Savior International 
Bible ministries worldwide. We are here to eat the aloe bread of the Holy Spirit. We are here to tap into the rivers of God's knowledge in His Word. We are here to soak ourselves under the rivers of God's Word in order for us to go in line with what God has written. In the same chapter we are just read now, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27 says, the same, the same Paul made another declarative statement that I want us to learn from it. First John, first Corinthians, rather, first Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27 says, But I keep under my body, wonderful Jesus, I keep under my body and I bring it into subjection, less that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Beloved, the subject before me this evening, what the Lord God has given to us in order to feed the entire world system, the race you are born to run. Beloved, there is a race you and I, we are born to run. God has commissioned us to do so. If we don't know that, beloved, the hour has come for us to open our spiritual eyes and physical eyes to know the purpose why we exist. To know the reason why we are alive. A lot of people don't know the reason why they are alive. But today's teaching, this small teaching, is going to open our spiritual eyes. We will be able to see the reason for our existence. And there will be divine revolution that is going to change our mindsets concerning the kingdom projects and kingdom business that God has committed to our hands. The, Lord, the Bible says necessity is laid upon every one of us. Necessity is laid upon every one of us that it is a must that we must carry on God's assignments. Why? Because God has given us divine mandate to do so. It is a race that we must run. The race, it is a race that we must run. Every believer, everyone that has submitted his or herself to the eternal lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 26, Matthew chapter 26, verse 24. Matthew chapter 26, verse 24 says, The Son of Man goes as it is written of him. The Son of Man there represents our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ in humanity. Christ in humanity connotes the Son of Man. He was giving a, a kind of deeper insight concerning his assistance. He was giving them the prophetic declaration and ordination of his assistance. He said, the Son of Man, Jesus in humanity, the Son of God, Jesus in divinity. In this context, Jesus in humanity, the Son of Man, he said the Son of Man going as it is written of him. There is, there is a particular 
assignments that God has commissioned you and I to fulfill on this planet Earth. Our central topic is titled The Race You Are Born, You Were Born to Run. The Race You and I, You Are Born to Run. Beloved, the most important thing for us, I'm laying a foundation of this topic. Next week, we will now begin the proper and nitty gritty about this message. But it's good for us to know the, the introductory aspect of it so that we'll be able to prepare our body, soul, and spirits ahead of what God has put in place for us to be part of this, the banquet feast of his world. The banquet feast of his world. The Bible says, you and I, we were born to fulfill a certain project of the Almighty God. Whoever that failed to discover himself will find it difficult to fulfill God's ordination and assignment upon his or herself. In the book of Colossians, chapter 3, please go with me to the book of Colossians, beloved. Remember what we are talking about. The race you, you were born to run. Colossians chapter, chapter 3 verse 2. Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 says, Set your affection, beloved, on the things above, not on things on the earth. In other words, never you be distracted. Never you be confused. Don't allow the worldly values and system to distract the, the assignment God has given to us. The book of Colossians chapter 3 verse, verse 2 the Lord is using to admonish us that there is a race we are born to run. You, there is a race God has committed into our hand. The race you are born to run. In other words, the Bible is telling us that we must not be distracted because necessity is laid upon us necessity that it, it is a must that we must follow God's agenda his spiritual ordination upon us is a must the scripture we just read now God was using it to admonish us that we must not be distracted about the things of this world. We must not be distracted about the things of this world. One, the things of this world will ridicule God's assignment in our hands. It is a race that you, I and us, we were born to run. God specifically mandated us to fulfill God's, to fulfill his project on earth. We are not here on the earth to play around. We are not here on earth to, to play around or we are not here on earth to fulfill our ambition. We are not here on the planet earth to go about but we are here on planet earth to fulfill the volume of the book God has written concerning us. We are here on this planet earth to fulfill 
God's kingdom business. We are here on planet N to advance God's kingdom assignment. We are here on this planet end to go in line with what God has written concerning us. It is a race that God has committed into our hands. I'm going to lay the foundation next week. We're going to proceed. But I'm using scriptural references concerning this subject we are dealing with. There are scriptural references that back on with the subject we are handling this evening. The race, the race you were born to, to run, the race you were born to run, we need to have it in our hearts. We need to know that uh, we are in this world. We are not of this world. We are here to carry on the specific assignment God has projected into our hands. Please go with me to the book of the book of Jeremiah. The race you are born. The race you are born to run. The race you are born to run. Go with me to the book of book of Jeremiah, please. Jeremiah chapter one, please. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse. Jeremiah chapter 1, from verse 4 to 5. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, I'm reading the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4 to 5. And the word, then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. The same thing applicable to us, beloved. Before God formed us, He knew us in our mommy's belly. He has commissioned every one of us onto a specific assignment. Before I formed thee, I'm reading verse 5, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5 now. And um, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And um, before thou comest forth out of the womb, out of the womb, I sanctify thee. And um, I ordain thee as, as a prophet. I ordain thee a prophet, rather, unto the nations. This is the revelatory picture about Jeremiah. Jeremiah was ordained as a prophet. Jeremiah was ordained as a prophet not to the local people. Jeremiah was ordained not to the people around him. Jeremiah was ordained as a prophet to nations, not to one nation. Not to one nation, but to nations of the earth. That was the scope of, of a spiritual ordination. Beloved, you and I, we were born for a particular assignment. God has ordained us. God has designed us to fulfill these projects. We are using this introductory aspect of this teaching to steer up our God's investment, to steer up God's virtues in us. I am using this introduction to steer up God's treasure in us. There is a greatness in us. There is a virtue of God in us that we must put into physical Operation. So many destiny is being dormant. So many destiny are, are being they are stagnated. Why? Because the challenges of life have caged them. 
the, the challenges of man have stagnated them. But concerning today's teaching, concerning this most teaching, the Lord God will cause divine revolution in your body, soul, and spirit. And God will march you forward in this month of March in the name of Jesus. I am prophesying God in His infinite mercy by the Spirit of the Lord. The Lord God will march you forward onto your mountain top of greatness in the name of Jesus. The most important thing that there is a race we are born, we are born to run. There is a race for us. We were born to run a race. We were born to run a particular race. That race justify our spiritual ordination. The race we are talking about, it represents our spiritual ordination. That race represents our spiritual assignment. I don't want to go far now, but next week, we are going to explain in detail the race we are talking about. How are we going to run it? What is that race? God has commissioned into your hand. What is that project? Kingdom project. Kingdom assignment. What is that thing God has committed into your hands? How are you going to discover yourself? How do you discover yourself that this is your spiritual assignment? God told, God told Jeremiah, I have ordained you as a prophet. I have ordained you as a prophet unto nations. That was the spiritual, geographical assignment of prophet Jeremiah. Every one of us will carry this spiritual ordination that we need to discover, that we need to tap into this divine dimension, most especially to know who we are in the Lord. To know who we are in the Lord, it will make us to go in accordance with what God has written concerning us. This very series of teaching is going to give us deliverance and earthquake of mind blowing. It's going to give us mind blowing revelation. It's going to give us mind blowing deliverance. It's going to, it's going to give us mind blowing open heaven. The Lord God is going to use it to shift us into another dimension of greatness. Please invite your friends 7 p.m. every Monday UK time. Next week, invite your friends so that you will, will be able to tap into the limitless knowledge of God's Word. You'll be able to tap into the limitless knowledge of God's word, Apostle Paul says something. Apostle Paul said, Woe is me if he failed to preach about gospel. The same thing applicable to every one of us, every faithful believers, every faithful believers, we have been ordained to carry out this assignment. We have been ordained to execute this kingdom projects on earth. We have been ordained to, to overspread this gospel across the globe. We have been ordained to spread the gospel to the north, south, east, west. God has given us the mantle, mantle to dismantle, mantle to, to reign over the powers of darkness and until we discover this there wouldn't be any progress 
But glory be to God who has given us his spirit. He has given us the Holy Spirit to commune with, to fellowship with. He has given us his spirit to know what to do at the right time. To know the reason for our existence. Beloved, wherever you are, this is school of the Holy Spirit. Brought to you by World Outreach Savior International Bible Ministry Worldwide. This is UK Center every Monday, 7 p.m. UK time. We gather online at least to eat from the hollow bread of the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, you are most welcome. The subject before us this evening, the race you were born to, to run. The race you were born to run. Because there is a, a specific assignment God has credited into the womb of your greatness. There is a specific assignment God has credited into the womb of your greatness. God told God told God told Paul, I have called you to carry out the, this assignment into the nook and crannies of the entire world system. In the book of Acts chapter 9, God said to him, I have called you unto Gentiles to spread the news, to spread the good news, the good news of power, the good news of mysteries of the gospel. That was the that was the specificity God gave to Apostle Paul. Unto us, we also have a, a specified kingdom assignment God has given to us. It is a must that we must spread this. It is a must that we must spread this. Why? Because it is a great necessity unto you and I and the hour has come for us to use this as a as a template to quicken to quicken our body soul and spirit so that we can fulfill the mandate God has um, given to us the book of in the book of Acts chapter 9 Acts chapter 9 verse 15 Acts chapter 9 verse 13 says something. Um, but the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel. This was the account of uh, Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul, this was the account of Apostle Paul. The Lord said, But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way. I'm reading Acts chapter 9, verse 15, please. Acts chapter 9, verse 15, please. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me. The Lord sent to Ananiah, the man that God directed Saul to go and meet. After he after saw had an encounter with the Lord when he was heading towards Damascus, the Lord directed him to go and meet Ananias. Uh, Ananias prayed for him, but this was the conversation between God and Ananias concerning Apostle Paul. What does that tell us? Whatever thing you are going through right now. Whatever thing you are going through right now, it is a platform gone to use it to change your story. As a believer, whatever challenges of life you are passing through right now, it is a platform God wants to use to, to skyrocket your destiny to the next level. If you can walk in accordance with the will of God. If you can walk in accordance with what God has written. If you can walk 
in the in accordance and templates God has written concerning you. God has the capacity to turn the situation around. But there is a race that I and I and you we were born to run. We must discover these assignments. The discovery of who you are will make you to fulfill the project of God in your life. Please write it down, beloved. The discovery of who you are will make you to fulfill your spiritual ordination. A lot of people don't know their spiritual ordination. The hour has come for us to know our spiritual ordination, the essence of our living. The essence of our living is very, very vital. A lot of people, they don't know who they are. They have not discovered themselves and time is going. The Lord said to Ananiah in Damascus that Paul has been chosen as a, as a vessel unto him. I'm reading the book of Acts chapter 9 verse 15. So he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles. This, this, this was the spe specification of Paul's assignment unto Gentiles. God was giving him divine direction in respect of what he has credited into Paul's life. Every one of us, we have to carry this kind of um, mandate and unction. We also carry this, this uncommon investment and treasure of God in us. It is a race God has mandated us to run in accuracy of his assignment in us. We, are, we were born to run this race. We were born to run this race so that we will, it will give us access to finish well if we embrace it. I strongly believe that God in his infinite mercy will give you divine strength, divine strength to follow God's projects on earth the anxiety and um, the anxiety of this air of this war will not distract you the bible says love not the war not that the things of this world but if anyone love this war the love of the father is not in him lastly beloved in the book of first corinthian second corinthian rather the race you are, you are born to run. The race you are born, the race you are born to run. I, I and you, we were born for a, for a particular assignment. We were born for a particular assignment, and discovery of this assignment will make us. To go in line with what God has written. A lot of people are, are doing what God has not ordained them to do. And discovery of purpose in line will give you distinction before the Almighty God. This very teaching, this very revelation will give you a defining moment that your destiny has been waiting for. The defining moment that your destiny has been waiting for. And I strongly believe that God will step into your situation in the name of Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 4, beloved. To wrap it up. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18 says, Why we look not are the things which are seen, but are the things which are not seen, but the things which are seen are temporal.
For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. What does that tell us? That is for wrongs to go in accordance with the will of God. We must not run after the perishable things of life. I and you to fulfill, to run this race effectively, productively. We must not run after the perishable things of life. Next week, we are going to download what are the perishable things of life that can that can that that can destroy one's divine assignment. We're going, we're going to download that. Beloved, I want you to meditate on this revelation. The race you and I, we were born to run. The race you and I, we were born to run. You need to know this. So that you can walk under the template of the Almighty God. Our ancestors, our patriarchs, they, they, they understood these mysteries and they tap into this strange dimension and they live a fulfilled life. You and I will need to tap into this dimension. We need to tap into this ancient landmark God had already prepared for us to live a fulfilled life on this planet Earth. I strongly believe that you and I we will not miss it. You and I we will end well. You and I we will continue to go in line with what God has written. And I strongly believe that, beloved, next week we will go into the main subjects of this very topic. The race you and I, we were born to run. And I strongly believe that you will not miss it. Please prepare your mind to have a divine encounter, transgenerational encounter that will make you to count before your generation an encounter that will make you count to your generation mind-blowing encounter mind-blowing revelation mind-blowing reposition of your destiny i strongly believe that is well within the name of jesus beloved if you have not given your life to christ I connect you to Messiah right now. The only one that has a capacity to, to deliver. The only one that has capacity to liberate people from every prison yard of backwardness. Daddy, concerning all your viewers who have not given their life to you, Lord. Daddy, detach them from every vomit of sin. Establish their destiny inside your will in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, beloved. Beloved, we will continue next week. It's going to be series by series. It's going to be series by series. Invite your friends and want prepare your mind to meet the Lord. Throughout this week, every Monday, 7 p.m. UK time, we're going to be using the unusual power in the word of god to feed ourselves so strengthen ourselves to keep our body soul and spirit on fire in readiness to the coming of our messiah lord jesus christ i strongly believe that it is well with you please all the scriptural references we have given to you please meditate on it again pray on it again allow the holy spirit to speak to you allow the holy spirit to guide you allow the holy spirit to direct you 
allowed the Holy Spirit to give him more deeper insights, more than the one I have given to you. And I strongly believe that the Holy Spirit will continue to be your lifetime mentor and teacher in the name of Jesus. I repeat, the Holy Spirit will continue to be your lifetime teacher and mentor. It is well with you, beloved. I strongly believe that in this new month, in this new month, the race God has ordained for you to run, you will not miss it in the name of Jesus. The race, kingdom race, God has ordained for you to run, you will not miss it. You will not run after the shadow. You will not disappoint God. You will not disappoint heaven in the name of Jesus. You will not disappoint God in the name of Jesus. Heaven, God will not replace you in the name of Jesus. God in the infinite mercy will not replace you in the name of Jesus. You will continue to go in line with what God has written in the name of Jesus. By the Spirit of the Lord, by the Spirit of the Lord, by the Spirit of the Lord, the Lord God will not replace you in this kingdom agenda and assignment in the name of Jesus. God in his infinite mercy will not replace you in the name of Jesus. Most especially, your position in heaven will not be vacant in the name of Jesus. The Lord God will continue to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God will continue to keep you burning in, in, his, in his agenda in our lives in the name of Jesus. You will not miss it. Your family will not miss it. Your, your, your wife, your husband, your family, they will not miss it. You will continue to go in line with what God has written. You will continue to go in line with what God has written. The treasure and the investment of God in you will not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Beloved, the kingdom of God, heaven will not mourn over your destiny. Heaven will not cry over your destiny. The Lord God will continue to strengthen you, you and your family, concerning the assignment of God in your hands as a, as a prophet, as an apostle, as an evangelist, as a pastor, as a teacher, heaven will not mourn over your destiny in the name of Jesus. Our, our, our position, our place in heaven will not be vacant in the name of Jesus. Our, our calling, our calling will not turn to cause in the name of Jesus. I repeat, our calling, our calling will not turn to disgrace in the name of Jesus. The grace, the grace of God upon our lives, the oil of grace upon our lives will not turn to disgrace and shame in the name of Jesus. As a body of Christ, the oil of grace upon our lives will not turn to disgrace in the name of Jesus. Every character bankruptcy that is polluting the assignment of God in our hands, may the Lord have mercy upon us as a church in the name of Jesus. Beloved, next week we will proceed, we will be able to go into the heart of this message, the heart of this message. The race I and you were born to run. We have a kingdom business to fulfill on earth. And I pray that we will not miss it. We will not miss our we will not miss our our divine assignment in the name of Jesus. It is well with you wherever you are. This is school of the Holy Spirit brought to you by World Outreach Savior International Bible Ministries Worldwide. Every Monday, 7 p.m. UK time, we gather online at this to eat from the hallowed bread of the Holy Spirit. I believe God has uh, uh, visited you, and I strongly believe that 
God will continue to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Beloved, wherever you are, by the election of grace, I remain your friend and your brother in the school of the Holy Spirit, Apostle Joseph Oluwagbemero. Do have a lovely week, spirit-filled week in the Word of God. Spirit-filled week in the Word of God. And please stay safe in Christ alone because Jesus Christ loves you. Bye for now in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much, beloved. See you next next week. Jesus Christ loves you. Bye for now. Amen. Thank you.